this was the uh, color location tables. Actually, some of the deals that they call image deals turn out to be just uh, fat, you know, FAT deals, which have not much to do with Linux. It's just Linux happens to implement a compatibility uh, thingy. Yeah. Uh, and and basically, it, yeah. basically, all those Linux deals, they only recently found out it's not quite what we're being told. It's just Microsoft really is playing a game of FUD here, of signing those deals and trying to make it seem like they're more than they actually are. Uh, so I'm trying to increase awareness of the fact that Microsoft wants to reveal their patents. Uh, yeah. We probably will see uh, antitrust people getting inside, getting involved and saying, hey, you know, this is like extortion. and You couldn't do that. And Microsoft... Microsoft's reaction probably will be that won't be doing that anymore as much because they realize okay we're getting really in trouble now because the regulators are knowing what we're up to and uh, and this is why we need also to blog about these issues to speak about it and to tell Microsoft you know you we know what you're up to you we know what pants you're using and uh, and and you're not fooling anyone and we have to try and explain these to companies too you know Microsoft is exaggerating about how much money it's making from Linux and that. Yeah. Uh, it just yeah. wants to scare people so that they don't buy Linux and they're afraid of lawsuits and stuff. Uh, so that's the purpose of the... Uh, anyway, well, uh, so... Oh, we get kept on going off topic. Um, desktop, right. So, yeah, I, I mean, I've been mixing KD and GNOME maps since, like, I don't know, it must have been, like, 2005, 2006, when I could get online with Linux and... And I've, I've been doing that. I've been mixing KD. I mean, I mean, mainly been running GNOME too as my desktop at the moment. Most normally, sometimes not KD or something else. But I'd run my KD apps in there, like Conversation, Piracy, and uh, Conqueror, possibly sometimes. And uh, uh, what else is KD. Um, oh yeah, K3B of course sometimes. Yeah. And so I've I've never had a problem mixing KD and Go maps or if you like QT and UTK apps. And but obviously that but for a long time people have been whining about that on the internet and stuff. People have been like, oh you shouldn't mix the apps. That's not good. It's not consistent. It's like it's like what. It's like, I, you know I never really understood that people were whining. And then why, yeah. and that's also. So if you go into a restaurant and uh, trying to ask for. It, 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 wait for an example. It's, it's, it's something like you ask for, um, say, uh, something of a certain culture. In, in separate, in separate, in, in, in separate courses, you ask for a separate type of, uh, like, ethnic food or something. Yeah. Not, not actually mixing the same thing. So you don't have for dessert, you'll have, like, uh, I don't know, Bavaria cream or something. And then for food, you'll have something like curry, and the starter is going to be, like, something that's, uh, like some Chinese food or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah, you can mix food as well. Yeah, which is fine. We're not mixing the same plate necessarily, but just just having a mixture of things from different, you know, sources and stuff. I had, I had, uh, I'm in this like fish and chips restaurant. I think they closed it down. Yeah, I think it's closed now. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm I, many years ago as a kid, I or teenager or whatever. I, I, I had, I had for dessert. I decided to have custard and ice cream and. That's you think that's a bit of an odd combination, but that 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 was quite nice. Was, yeah. Anyway, so so what I was saying, so I mix KD and Go maps, and that's also why Unity is interesting because Unity is um, the the two D, the Unity two D is yeah. is made with QT. So yeah, it's gonna have it's gonna have it, it, well on eleven point I think the, no I think the, no, yeah eleven point ten will have Unity QT as the Fall back instead of game two, so they're gonna have QT on the live CD as well, and I think that's interesting because you know it's all it's all GTK or most of it, but or, then they got QT for Unity 2D as well. I think that's interesting because all the people who whine for so long about about the different about not mixing them together. Yeah. So I think what Connor Call have done there or decided to do there is interesting, but it, apparently it's also because of having Q, Unity the 2D. Is they use Qt for it's a, well Qt or Qt. I think it's called yeah. Qt in that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's called Qt, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so the funny thing is that they choose to use it. I think for one of you know the typically Canonical doesn't have anything written in Qt. Uh, but when they do use it, it's when they use the GNOME side or when they use the Unity side. Um, so, so it's because of the something in KD, it's through the, gra- the rendering of the graphics, something, something that KD can do and, and GNOME or DCA can't or something, so they decide to use QT for that feature of Unity or something. 
Yeah. So, um, I think that Kubuntu, uh, not Kubuntu, is four point seven one or four point seven. On the south, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's probably. I the think thing Ubuntu of- would that that Bowser menu in Mandriva. I think that new Bowser menu because quite a lot of the new users aren't really that ha- keen on it. But I think a menu like that would go really well in Kubuntu. I, I really do because that's the kind of user base who would be interested in in that as far as I know that's the kind of user base who would probably be interested in that kind of menu more, more than the old like old school Mandriva users if you get what I mean. But anyway, so so yeah that makes in KD and Gnome apps have done that. Um and then I tried out Unity and I did the eleven point oh four PPA for GNOME for you uh GNOME free because I always had issues with the I had like an old Fedora Rawhide from like January, uh, with, you know, developing version of what would become Fedora 15, and I, I was able to boot GNOME Shell off that on this computer okay, and the other one, I guess, but then it, like later on, it just never works on this computer properly. The other one it did, or well enough, sometimes GNOME Shell would crash. And then the Ubuntu, when I tried to, I, another reason I put Ubuntu 11.4 on other than to Try Unity, the final, or whatever. It was, it was really to try, try the GNOME free PPA, which is obviously develop, mm. is obviously development software. But when I put that on, that was quite interesting because I, well, first I installed it wrong. I didn't really get the shell, but I didn't because mm. I installed it wrong. So I ended up like with GNOME, the cross between GNOME 2 and GNOME 3. So like GNOME 2, but with the, um, GNOME 3 apps, and it wasn't the fallback mode, it was what I'm saying, like a cross between GNOME 2 and GNOME 3. But when I got the PPA installed after another reinstall, and when I got put on properly, I ended up with, yeah, I ended up with GNOME Shell, it was there, but unfortunately I couldn't actually use my keyboard, and I think maybe not the mouse, or it was just the keyboard, it's the keyboard just wouldn't work or something, or it was really slow or whatever mm. it was, so it was like barely usable, but it was worth a try. And then I tried out, and then I ended up with the Fedora 15 final for GNOME Shell. Uh, and I tried it out on this computer, and no, it didn't really work properly. The other computer, it did work. So I tried, I have tried out the GNOME Shell final, the, uh, the 3.0, and obviously it's time to try out 3.2 soon, the final somehow. I'm going to live see, I assume, again, because I tried out development and it didn't work. But I actually like, I, I like this old GNOME shell preview from last year, the, uh, I can't remember the number quite, 2.91 or something like that. Um, mm. an old GNOME shell preview from like a, last year for all the, or, or Mandriva had it in the repo and the Ubuntu provides it, I think, as well before. And, and it's old and it goes on top of, it's one of the old development versions that goes on top of GNOME 2 and you get the old, um, way to open up the, uh, thumb, from uh see what's on what's open to switch between the windows the stuff that's open i mean the old way rather than the you know the desktops mobile desktops yeah well not like that but just the old ways to switch between the apps and i really like that because it would go on top of gnome 2 and i used to run it on here and when i had memory on here before and then i tried it and i had it on the other computer as well obviously with the memory there and, and then I put my Mandriva back and I put it on again. But what's, what I find a bit odd is how this time round with Mandriva, when I put Mandriva 2010.2 on this computer, if I, if I maximize the, whatever I've got open, it will crash. It will all freeze the, that program. It's or or kind of, and it, and I can't really use it. And I think that's a bit weird. So what I actually did is I ended up using my Ubuntu knowledge, kind of, because I never really had that much of a problem with the buttons being moved to the left. I mean, I, maybe to some extent I did, and they were in a bit of an odd order, but I didn't, never really had a problem. When I upgraded the other computer from 9.4 uh, to, no, when I put, yeah, 9.4, oh, what, Whatever version mm. move the buttons, my older brother had a yeah. problem, I had to move it back, but I never had a problem with that. But anyway, I used my Ubuntu knowledge and found out, I went on the site and it, from last year all about the buttons being moved to the left and I had to pull it back and it was, it was like, interesting reading the comments again. I hadn't been on that site before anything. Anyway, I, what I did is I edited, went into the decommerf editor and removed the, uh, I actually removed the, ma- the maximize button myself, leaving minimize and X because I knew with GNOME, I knew with GNOME Shell, one, I 
I wouldn't actually need the maximized button because Hagen and Shelley, including that version, not just the finals, but that whole version, you don't really need them. You don't really need the maximized button at all. Or minimized for that matter. And yes, Clone, Clone, uh, free upstream, they did, they did remove the,